sick of this Niggas call me a sellout Cause I hopped to Christianity so strongly then I fell out I'm frustrated and you provoked it I'm not reading that mother book because the human wrote it I ain't trying to take your legacy and torture down I'm just saying I ain't heard from the horse's mouth I hate the fact that I have to believe You haven't been chatting with me like you did Adam and Eve Show yourself and the boom is done Every rumor's gone I no longer doubt this You're the one I'm here with Dr. Tony Costa Who is a New Testament scholar and apologist we're making this video in response to Hobson's Ill Mind of Hobson 7, where he vents his frustration towards God. Now, this frustration is, is typical. We see this in the Psalms, Psalms 22, Psalms 44, Psalms 88. Now, Hobson is an amazing rapper. His video is very good. However, he makes some claims that he sees as unanswerable but I think that today we can answer these claims. Dr. Tony Costa we have Hobson in this video and he says God where are you and then he goes on to say he has never heard from the horse's mouth and if he were to hear from God it's all done it's he would believe from there so the question is two part who is God and has he shown us any proof that he exists? Well, who is God? Well, God is uh, the creator of the universe, of all that is. God is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end. He is the infinite. Uh, he is the uh, omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent, the greatest conceivable being that could ever be conceived. And um, the question that, that Hobson asks about where is God um, is an interesting question because what he is asking for is really he wants some tangible evidence, some, some visible evidence of God's existence. Now, the fact of the matter is that God has revealed himself. He has shown himself in various ways. Uh, we speak about general revelation, which is the revelation that God has made available to all people, particularly in the created order. We see it in the cosmos. Uh, God has made his uh, presence known, not just in the cosmos, but also in the human conscience as well. We derive our, our moral compass from that idea of right and wrong because of this uh, image that God has placed in us. God has made us in His image. And so that is what we call general revelation. Special revelation is where God has revealed Himself in Scripture. He has spoken to us through the prophets and so forth. But the greatest revelation of God is seen in the person of Jesus Christ. In the Incarnation, we see God coming to us. God enters our space-time. And God lives among us as Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. And so it's not that God has not revealed himself. He has revealed himself. The question is that Hobson is asking is he wants God to reveal himself in his terms. Mm -hmm. How does he want God to reveal himself? Well, he wants God to basically open the skies, come on down and speak to him face to face. And of course, that's the wrong question to ask because what it does is it presupposes that God is subject to our beck and call, that God, as the Creator, uh, should do our bidding. That, you see, we have to understand that God is not like the genie in Aladdin's lamp, mm -hmm. that we rub the lamp and out comes this genie, and the genie says, give me what, what three wishes do you want, and I'll grant them to you. The God of the Bible is not like that. The God of the Bible is the potter, and we are the clay. And so, you can imagine, by analogy, the clay is asking the potter to explain himself. Yeah. And that's what we see Hobson yeah. doing. And so the, the answer to where is God, God is here. God is here with us. Uh, God has revealed himself abundantly. So much so that the Bible says that we are without excuse. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that humans are guilty not because there is not enough evidence. The reason why people are guilty is because they are suppressing the truth in unrighteousness. Thank you. I'm f***ing done! This is my life and I'm living it. I'm having fun.